The future management of the Summit of Mauna Kea, an area of deep cultural significance to Hawaii, as well as an international center for astronomy, will be on the table this legislative session. The State House of Representatives is already taking a position on what should happen in regards to the lands, which are leased by the Department of Land and Natural Resources, to the University of Hawaii. This is what Speaker Scott Psyche said Tuesday on the floor of the House. As you know, the University of Hawaii has held the master lease to manage the Mauna Kea Astronomy Precinct and the Natural and Cultural Preservation Area since 1968. The master lease is set to expire in 2033, and the university is currently working to extend it. The university has tried to manage Mauna Kea, but for too long, the university's work has been shrouded by its inability to appropriately manage cultural practices, resources, and education. This is why the University of Hawaii must no longer manage Mauna Kea, and it should cease its work to extend the master lease. The House will introduce a resolution to begin the process of reassessing a new governance structure for Mauna Kea. And we will invite Kukiai Mauna Kea to have a seat at the table and be a part of the discussion. Mauna Kea is a manifestation of what happens when we draw lines, work in silos, and disregard different views. The Mauna Kea Management Board, which oversees the university's role in regards to its mountain lease, met on Tuesday evening. Greg Chun, the UH Executive Director of Mauna Kea Stewardship, provided this update on discussions concerning new agreements with existing observatories. Uh, we did reach out uh, last week to Mauna Kea Observatory directors, uh, requesting their uh, preferences on uh, a process and a structure for how they would like to begin discussions uh, regarding these new agreements. Um, and so I believe they are meeting this week uh, and will be getting back to us uh, on how they want to uh, start those e initial discussions. So we're not at a point yet where any kind of negotiations or anything like that are occurring. Uh, we're really just at the point of sort of sharing ideas of what these uh, agreements, new agreements uh, will need to cover. Um, so when you say agreements, this is the new or revised lease agreements, right? Yeah, you know, um, we have uh, a preference for moving away from calling these subleases. Uh, so we are probably gonna call them something else uh, still to be determined. Uh, so right now we're just referring to them as agreements. Various bills related to Mauna Kea have already been introduced in this legislative session. For example, the House Water and Land Committee on Tuesday voted in support of a measure, which if passed into law, will provide that the Board of Land and Natural Resources shall not conduct contested case hearings for land use disputes. Instead, such matters will be taken to circuit court. Wendy, the floor is yours. The bill was supported by the Kona Kohala Chamber of Commerce and the Mauna Kea Observatories. Representatives of the organizations testified at the virtual committee hearing. The Kona Kohala Chamber of Commerce strongly supports the astronomy industry, and we're very concerned with the impending master lease renewal. Although the lease expires in 2033, the timeline is condensed due to critical junctures in the sequence of events. The legislation, this legislation, is crucial in creating timely action as the lease renewal may be subject to a contested case and lengthy delays would impede the process. I'm Rich Matsuda, Chief of Operations at the WMCAC Observatory, and I'm here on behalf of the Mauna Kea Observatories in support of House Bill 344. We want to be clear that we strongly support the public's opportunity to contest decisions on the use of public lands. However, it is crucial that the decisions are timely, and we believe this bill can achieve both. The current Mauna Kea Science Reserve lease expires in 2033, and the renewal of the land authorization under the current contested case process may introduce lengthy delays. Um, a timely land authorization renewal reflecting the state's long-term commitment to support astronomy is essential. The bill was opposed by environmental advocacy groups, Life of the Land and Earth Justice, which testified that eliminating the right to an agency hearing and substituting a court action instead violates constitutional due process. 
Earth Justice noted that such hearings were purposefully established to allow a process for agency decisions that is more accessible to the public, including those who may not have legal representation. The Water and Land Committee recommended that the bill be passed. House Bill 344 is also scheduled to be heard by the House Committee on Judiciary and Hawaiian Affairs and the Committee on Finance before it goes to the full House for final reading.